Look at all these fish. Oh, wow. Whoa, dude, it's literally pulling. What do we have? Holy moly. Look how big that thing is. What's up, happy people? I can't, I can't pull it off as good as uh, Robert Arrington does, but congrats, dear mate for dinner, Robert, for hitting one million subscribers. And I should not only congratulate him, uh, we got, I think, three others too. So Robert, Black to Page, Jiggy with Jordan, and Lunkers TV. Four people have hit one million this month. Congrats to all of you. Um, it is, it's a big milestone, and uh, that's, that's a huge mark to hit. Anyway, we're out here on the little lake today, and uh, we're gonna cast out some bait. We got a live hole in the backyard. We wanna load it up so that we can actually be able to feed our large enough pal stump it's like 10 pounds whenever we do want to give her a little treat live bait treat or something but it also will be cool to have a bunch of these into a, a, a bin in the backyard it's 100 gallons so we can fit a bit daniel and i are going to be very picky on what we put in this we're going to keep like perfect size bait three three inches. yeah so we're going to be really picky um without further ado i'm going to strap on the gopro and we're going to get some tops all right so we got about a six foot net here ain't too big but it's big enough this spot is absolutely loaded with bait it's it's absolutely loaded this shouldn't take long at all maybe one cast but like i said we're gonna be picking so probably won't be one cast oh cakes cakes anyone want pancakes for breakfast i shouldn't be bragging about pancaking a six foot net but it's whatever oh loaded loaded up brother none of them are the right species though one it's too big it's too big these right here are two different species. Bluegill, tilapia. These die easily in a live well. Don't last long at all. This one actually looks like it's been fished before. Look at that, see that? Looks like it might've been fished before. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Here's a baby one of that. And these ones die, like I said, very fast in live wells. And even worse than a bluegill, get all those back in, is this, a spotted tilapia. This fish right here will die in a well within like an hour. It doesn't last long at all. So, we're not keeping any of these species either. Those go back. But this, although this one is too big, this is a species we want. We want these about that big. Tilapia, blue tilapia to be exact. Here we go. Let's get some babies for you. I got a big guy. Oh wow. Whoa, dude, it's literally pulling. What do we have? Holy moly. How big that thing is that's mama bear that right there is mama bear big old flop right there that's a beast all right so we have just walked up to a little tiny creek part of this lake it kind of branches off goes to this back canal here and um i think this might be where the little ones are Ow. Ow. Yep, he got me. I'm bleeding. Sick. That is not good. You really do not want to cooperate. You're just going to flop yourself back in, aren't you? Gladly will allow you to do so. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. Sick. Graphic content. Oh, I think I hit the mother load. Oh, I hit the mother load. Daniel! That is what we want right there. Yeah. To lops. Prime. All these are good. That's a little big, but Thump can make that a meal. That was a good batch right there. Oh! Look at this, I also cast in a little, little shad there. Go free. And then we let the bigger ones. By the way, there is an overpopulated amount of these fish. Now I can guarantee you that this county probably doesn't even, this was overpopulated. This was actually meant for carp, these lakes right here. Uh, to keep the grass level down and tilapia were introduced to these lakes and then they just completely took over so once again we're actually doing a great thing taking a very small percentage out of these ponds and also i release all the bigger ones into it in the breeders so this doesn't do much harm at all the very few amount that we will be taking out today for those of you who are wondering so after i do cast it obviously the leads are on the bottom and what i do is i jolt like this pulling the bottom, which rubs straight. Oh, I got big shad. Look at all these shad. Oh my god. Holy Dude, those god. are thump candies. What in the hell? All right. There you go, guys. Big gizzard shads. Now, these don't live long out of water at all, so I'm just going to kind of drop them all by the lake so we can give you a good look at them, but then release them. These right here. 
Look at all these fish. Oh my gosh. These are gizzard shads. Look at that. Prime snook bait. They do not live long out of water, so gotta get them back in. Go, buddy. That's insane. So, lure right there, too. Finding treasure out here. Oh my god, all babies. Oh my, they're mollies. Okay, guys, look at this. Wild mollies. I'm not even kidding you. What? Wild mollies, dude. Everything is in these lakes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of these things. These are wild mollies right here, yo. Look at that. And I got a, I got a handful of them. Look at all these things. Look how big they are. That is a molly. Holy moly. I have caught these here in the past, but I never thought there was this many. I mean, I netted like, I netted like 20 of these things. And this was a perfect cast. I got even baits for the bass right here, as you can tell. All these were perfect size. So, we got our baits right here. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna overload the amount of fish we get today. I just wanna try to try this out. This live well does look crystal clear. It does look amazing. Um, but before I go and get 25 to 50 fish for it, um, I wanna make sure it works first. So. With that being said, we're done for today. We got our cast in it. We wrecked the fish. That was a blast, honestly. We got a, a decent amount of surprises, too. We cast into like 25 gizzard shads. We got a bunch of these wild mollies here, which I've only seen one other time. And uh, crazy, crazy stuff. All right, we're back. We are back at the live well. And um, this is what it looks like. As you can tell, crystal clear water. Um, ready to have fish, filters pumping, circulating around here. And right, right next to this, we got our uh, patio bowl here. If you didn't see the last video, we got females and all of them are just swimming around now, happier than can be. Um, I noticed that the second I put females, everything has become more active. All the fish have been on top, moving around a lot more which is pretty interesting, something to learn about when you get new fish. Um, we got duckweed in here, which is then gonna pretty much take over this whole thing. I can always remove it, but this is just looking great. We got a bubbler on there. Fish are, like I said, happier than can be. And uh, hopefully we'll have some babies in there in a little bit. But back over to our live well, we have our fish right here. Before I get these things in here just yet, I do wanna take one tilapia, the bigger one. There it is, right there. Ready, Thump? Oh my God! Oh my god. Okay, that did not last long at all. I used to feed my old bass tilapia, um, mostly, pretty much that's the only thing I did feed them. It was a lot of work going and getting them, but that's pretty much all I fed the bass that I used to have. In my old, old pond, there's the picture of that. That was my first pond ever. I don't think I've ever showed that. That right there is the first pond I've ever made. I used to feed that bass, which I did end up releasing after I had to redo the pond, but they get way, way wider, bigger, bulkier when you feed them live bait. So anyone that does own a bass, if you feed them those live baits like shad especially, all the stuff like that gets your bass way bigger. I'm telling you, it, it, is, it is worth the work going out and getting them because your bass will get bigger. All right, so these little mollies here, I think I'm just gonna put them in the live well for now in here and um, see how they do. I don't have much experience with wild mollies. If they do well, I can always take them out and then put them into the mini pond over there. I just don't want to mess with the coloration of this pond. Everything's so colorful, and then putting in something that's brown, about this big and brown. I just don't know about it, so maybe we might just keep them in there. We can always put them into the big pond, and they'll live in the big pond. Honestly, you let me know. Mini pond or big pond. Where should we put these mollies? For now, they're going in here, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do from there. Lens is foggy. Whoa. It is the next morning here and I've got today's positive comment shout out. That going to Zane. I don't even have words for how cool this channel is and it's got like five likes. So that's pretty cool. That's a different uh, positive comment shout out than I normally do. But if you do want to win a positive comment shout out, all you got to do is drop a positive comment down below in the description. By the way, and here are all the fish. I wanted to wait till the next morning to show you guys how they're doing. Uh, they're all doing great. Doing little, as you can see, they're all into the current because this swings around this side and then goes right there. So. All their heads are this way, going right into the water. 
So there's our live well. We can definitely put a lot more fish if we wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to just yet. Like I said, I want to see how this, how everything just unfolds itself. If you haven't done this already, I highly suggest joining the family, hitting the subscribe button, and then after you hit that subscribe button, you can click a bell, which will notify you every time I do upload, which is every other day. Sometimes I throw some extra ones in there. Thanks for watching.